The lines that govern my work are far weaker than they appear. To the eye of a stranger, they anchor decrepit faces and tie down floating ideas to loosely stretched canvases. To me, it is all floating, and nothing is set in stone. As a person, I live in my head, and my marks on paper are attempts to sift out important things among everyday ramblings. Structure is something which I need very little of in order to work effectively, as my mind, however off the ground it may be, is able to govern me. When I was in grade 11, I switched from music theater to visual art. The intense instructions and structured curriculum in music theater made it hard for me to work, and during the past years in high school, I'd drawn anyways, so the transition wasn't the hardest thing ever. Around the time I switched, I began listening to and eventually singing jazz music. What really fascinated me about this genre was the looseness and fluidity of the lines. The way that, over consistent rhythmic patterns, sticky bass lines floated along the beats and voices swung from note to note, all without premeditation. It is a place where instruments become voices and voices become instruments, a place where borders can be crossed with ease. Not having structure is something which really provokes much creativity, but without a consistent beat playing behind me, it's easy for me to become completely lost. Jazz and art are both constructed with the same fluid strands that are marked by pens, pencils, and vocal cords alike. I just want to take a second to acknowledge Mr. Vary and Mr. Novak and my amazing friends. I honestly don't think I would, have, I would be drawing or singing jazz if it weren't for their support. I'm eternally grateful.